Welcome to another try at this live drone cam. I'm sitting at 82% battery right now, but it looks like we have a shark. This is a great white, and it is doing those zigzag patterns that we've all come to be familiar with. And we have much better conditions today. I'm gonna to get right on top of this shark. Take, let's take a look at this. He's right at surface. I'm gonna record. Let's see what he does. Interested in whatever that thing is. We have a curious great white shark here. Must be something floating that he was interested in. This is a good looking shark. Seems to be a, a young one, untagged. Those things on top, you see that on the dorsal fin, those are copepods. It's basically parasites that live on the sharks. And that is our great white shark in good conditions. I am live from the drone right now. So what you're seeing, this feed, if you're seeing it, it is live. I'm just going to hang the camera up right on top of him for a second. I just got to do a quick check to make sure that this is actually going live. I got to check my phone real quick. The shark is uh, just hanging out. Let's see here if I move it. I Sorry, I'm only flying with one hand right now because I got to double check that this is this is going out. Let's see. It looks like we are getting a live feed. Yes. Okay. Again, I can't see any of the comments while I'm flying, uh, but we have a great white shark live here. I'm gonna start doing more of these. Who knows? We might get something really exciting on the live cam. This is happening right now. So this white shark, I'm gonna switch cameras real quick. Let's get a nice closer look at him. Fix exposure a little, there we go. I get it down close, get down close to him. You'll be able to see those mohawk looking copepods on the back, you see that? That's um, those copepods attach to themselves and basically uh, feed off of the off the shark. Hopefully the feed's strong. Oh, he's interested in something. He keeps coming up to the surface. There's this white thing floating here. This is a young shark. It's definitely a juvenile. So the, when I when I observe sharks, mainly it's this. So a lot of this live drone cam stuff is going to be really just watching sharks do nothing but swim. Uh, but the more you do this, you start to notice different movements of the sharks. And hey, buddy, I am live right now on YouTube. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, where is he? He is right over here, about a mile away from the house. Check that out. Did you see my, my email? Yeah, response? I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Cool. Yeah, so this is going out live on YouTube right now. Cool. <laughs> Trying this live cam. I started doing this this week. And it, nice. Uh, yeah, it, it works. It's pretty cool, man. So we have this um, juvenile shark. It's a clean specimen. Check that out. Look how clean his... There's not a... See, there's not very much marks wow. on him, and see that stuff on his dorsal fin? That is, yeah. uh, those are copepods. I was just you telling them. You want a them. chair? No, no, I'm good here. If I sit down lower, the connection is is cut a little bit. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's nice and quiet over here in this corner. You want to go up on the deck? Uh, maybe, maybe in a little while. Right, well, this shark's you... interested in this. See this white that's floating there? He keeps trying to go to it. See, it's like interested in that little, whatever that white thing is. They're always... Tricks. I guess it's a young one, so he, maybe he doesn't know what he's looking at. 
But uh, I gotta talk to you. I'll, I'll talk to you in a little bit, okay? No worries. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, this is incredible. Who would have thought we could watch great white sharks live, right? And like I said, it's it's a uh, it can be kind of uh, boring watching a shark just go in circles, and this is exactly what the shark is doing. He's going in circles. The cool thing is, sometimes they do these perfect circles, and the le leading theory on that is that they are possibly sleeping. So, who knows? Maybe he is sleeping. If I go up, there's a good chance you'll see the vortex trails on the circles. Let me go up. So see that? There it is. See that perfect circle there? He made a perfect circle. And he continues to make these circles across the beach. So it very well likely could be he's sleeping or resting. Um, so the scientists I've talked to about the circles basically tell me that they do these almost perfectly symmetrical circles like this as sleep and for safety. Because if he goes to sleep and he's swimming straight by going in these perfect little circles, they're essentially assured that they're going to stay here. And you can see by that 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 is a perfect circle. Or like level now, but you can really see it from above. And solid still, I don't want to jinx my connection here. I'm trying to, there we go, right here. Okay, so I am going to switch this over to a different camera. And um, let me get down closer on the shark. Every time I observe sharks, I kind of just hoping to. So we are just basically flying in circles with this shark. And there's something on the surface here and he's interested in it. You see that? He surfaced he surfaced much more. He went closer to the surface when they got interested in that. Um, it's interesting because if he's asleep, then maybe he sensed it with, and, and is moving um, almost subconsciously, I would say. <laughs> Who knows? They're always doing something cool. I'm gonna get you a nice tight shot on top. Now maybe, let's try this camera here. All right, now I'm gonna take us down low. There's that white thing he's interested in. Maybe he'll come up closer to the surface. Tomorrow I'm releasing a video that I really, really think is one of my favorites that I've made. It is uh, basically great white sharks versus birds and the unique relationship that they have uh, and the observations I've made of that. So stay tuned for tomorrow uh, around noon Pacific time. I'm going to be releasing that video, Great White Sharks and Birds, to have something really amazing live. Give me the feedback on this experience. I don't know if it's something you guys are going to be interested in but maybe if I did this once a week I don't know what do you guys think let me know in the comments this is an untouched shark no fishing hooks in him no no marks on him no injuries this is a beautiful specimen and he's continuing to go in these circles you guys dizzy yet <laughs> this is the life of filming a shark waiting and waiting until he does something cool. The hard part is keeping him in the frame. When you're flying really close to the water, which I am right now, I don't know exactly how hot. I mean, I'd say I'm probably six to seven feet above the water right now.
My readout says minus eight feet, but that's from my launch point and I'm much higher than the water surface. Oh, he's coming up, he's coming up. Here we go. Never know when something cool, maybe there'll be a bird here. Wow, what a pretty shark. Earlier I filmed a uh, an adult shark that came through here that must have been 13, 14 foot, at, at the very least a uh, sub-adult. And what I see is sub-adults don't tend to stay like this, like this shark is staying and going in circles. That sub-adult just rolled right through here, continued going north, and probably will be in central California soon feeding on sea lions and elephant seals and whatnot. Again, if I go up, you're going to see these vortex trails, the perfect circles. There you go. Look at that. He made a big circle there. Pretty incredible. I hope to bring you guys uh, these live feeds at least once a week. My goal is to get something really special on camera. Most of these feeds will be like this, watching a shark do nothing but make circles like this one. <laughs> But, you know, I've had them doing these circles before and then all of a sudden they'll wake and, and they're very animated if something comes in to, to disturb them at this point. It really seems like they might be sleeping. I've seen paddle boarders come near them while they're doing these circles. I've seen birds come in and they get startled and, and actually get a little bit pointed. So maybe a little grumpy from being woken up in a nap. Who knows? I'm going to switch cameras again because the water manually focused, which is what I do normally. I love... There we go. He's a little deeper in the water now. When he comes up, you can be able to see him or her. I don't see any claspers, so this might be a female. I'm going to back out again with a different camera. And when he comes up, I'm going to try to get nice and tight. And there he comes. There he comes. See those little fish swim in there? I might be taking an interest in those. There we go. Look at that. He's coming up closer so I can use the zoom cam here. Let's go in and zoom. And we'll focus. Sorry, I got to do this with one hand when I don't, when I'm by myself. There we go. All right. Nice and tight. Actually, I prefer to actually get close to the shark than zooming in. But we got a good view of the great white shark live. Switching cameras again. And go back to autofocus. And once again, you can see he's just continuing to go in circles. So, all right, I'm going to leave this shark behind. And uh, I'm going to smile. And we're going to scan the beach. See if we see any other sharks. Now, those aren't, those lines there are not vortex trails. Vortex trails look very different. But this could be something. You see this little dark area there? That could be something in there. Maybe a dolphin, perhaps. Lots of birds on the surface here. And... Battery level is low. Uh oh here we go. Aircraft will return to the home point in 10 seconds. Alright, folks. I am being forced to land now. And 